the oral hyaluronic acid is actually creating a reduction in inflammatory cytokines in the body. It's reducing leptin levels. Hyaluronic acid is one that I've seen really interesting results with and not for the reasons we expect, okay? The initial thinking with oral hyaluronic acid was, oh great, we're gonna take oral hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid is gonna go in the blood and then that is going to get incorporated into the extracellular matrix and we're going, it's like getting a injection of hyaluronic acid in the knee. Does not work that way based on what we know right now. But let's look at a, a review. So this here looked at, uh, this was Japan, China, Japan, I believe Japan. There's a, there's many different types of uh, oral hyaluronic acids on the market. The one that's pat, I tend to like patented things because typically that means they've been studied and researched and there's no difference. Meaning a curcumin product that's not patented. I have no idea if that's the same curcumin in this study versus this study versus this study versus this study. If I have patented theracurmin, I know it's the same in this study, this study, this study, and this study. And so there's, there, I tend to gravitate more towards that stuff, especially when we're looking at research, because you could be comparing apples to oranges when you're looking at different herbs and things like that, just because we know that plants grow differently in different climates. There's different bioactive molecules in them based on soil quality, based on water and temperature. And so it's important to have some standardization. So this is a patented product called OralVisc. OralVisc is the, the patented name that is then found in various different supplements, okay? It's, an, it's a preparation of oral hyaluronin that we can take orally. So <clears throat> what they found here was that between placebo and the uh, OralVisc is that patients had a reduction in their pain over a 12 month period with taking this. This was patients with uh, knee osteoarthritis, okay? Again, initially they were looking at, oh, well, osteoarthritis, low hyaluronic acid, and so they thought that was the case. However, what they actually ended up finding that what is happening is that the oral hyaluronic acid is actually creating a reduction in inflammatory cytokines in the body. It's reducing leptin levels that is then having a positive impact on obesity, inflammation, and therefore arthritis.